Hey crypto fans, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm gonna show you some of the best cheap metaverse coins with huge, huge long-term potential, you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel and you think you might enjoy the content that I create in the future, then go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up because it helps me out and why not, right? And also guys, feel free to go ahead and follow me here on Twitter as well. You can find the link to it in the description below this video. I like to talk about altcoins, NFTs, day trading strategies, all kinds of good crypto stuff on a daily basis. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, you might as well go ahead and give me a follow. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you some of the cheapest and best metaverse coins out there that, well, I mean, obviously this is a, an, a this is opinionated because clearly, guys, you're going to get a different opinion from just about every single person out there, okay? There's probably another crypto, you know, there's probably another crypto YouTuber out there who probably thinks, you know, my top five are complete crap and their top five is the best also. Um, you know, realistically, guys, it's all about personal opinion here, okay? Um, and that's that's just the general truth of it. Um, so guys, I'm gonna be showing you some very cheap metaverse altcoins that definitely have some very good, strong long-term potential that could go up in price um, quite a bit in the future uh, based on their current market cap levels. So guys, we're gonna be looking at, we're not gonna be looking at overall, um, we're not gonna be looking at the actual projects today. We're actually gonna just be looking at the prices of them and figuring out you know potential prices for the long-term for them. Um, that's kind of the whole purpose of this video. Um, um, so guys, the very first um, metaverse project that I want to show you guys today is Star Atlas, okay? Now, here's the thing, guys. Before we start getting into the nitty-gritty of different prices and price points and stuff like that, what I do want to say is long-term here, you guys, metaverse and play-to-earn gaming and all the you know all these different types of uh, metaverse-type tokens, they are all going to grow like crazy in the future, okay, guys? In the future, we're going to be calling billionaires meta-billionaires instead of tech billionaires, okay? It is only a matter of time before this metaverse stuff takes off. And here's the other thing you have to think about. The worse that our world does and the worse that our economy does, the better it is for all of these metaverse projects, okay? I mean, just put that, let that sink into your mind for a little bit and really think about that because it's the, it is the damn truth, okay? Um, so guys, let's start looking at some of these coins and I will start to show you why some of these coins have such great potential. Now, personally, you guys, I think that pretty much all of these, all I think pretty much every single one of these metaverse tokens has the potential to reach at least a market cap of at least one billion dollars at some point in the future you know i don't know when that's going to happen um you can see behind me you guys you know there's no magic ball behind me i'm not a magician so i can't tell you exactly when it's going to happen um, nobody can but what i can say is is you know for uh you know as far as you know the best possible chance um these six definitely have a very good very good shot at you know having that happen um especially since the prices of these coins haven't exactly skyrocketed yet um so they definitely still have a chance so guys as far as that 1 billion market cap level goes as far as where i think it can go um i'm going to start going through all of these and show you where um you know where they could potentially be when they do reach a 1 billion dollar market cap and what you could potentially make for a return on your investment if you invested a thousand dollars into them okay so let's check this out, you guys. So the first one we got is Star Atlas, all right? So obviously right now the circulating supply is 2.16 billion out of 36 billion, okay? Wait, that's billion, right? Thousand, million, billion? Yeah, that's 36 billion, okay? So they have a very, very, very large max supply, okay? Um, and right now they have a very low market cap of only $39.6 billion, you guys. So it's still got a very long ways to go, potentially go. So let's see what you could potentially get, all right? So obviously in the future, you know, let's say, you know, we're just going to base this off of a general number of five years. Okay. Let's say it takes five years for Star Atlas to, you know, go up and reach a market cap level of $1 billion. Okay. So obviously at that point in time, you guys, the circulating supply is going to be a lot higher than where it's at right now. So for the sake of my math for this video, I'm not going to be using the current circulating supply. Okay. I'm actually going to be using a much higher circulating supply because that's just generally, you know, where, what's going to happen. I mean, in the future, the circulating supply is gonna rise up. So um, I'm gonna use a different circulating supply number. So for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to use, eh, I don't know, we'll just call it 8 billion, okay? So we'll just say 8 billion. So if it's at 8 billion, um, when the circulating supply is at 8 billion, thousand million billion, and it, um, let's see here, and, it, and, it's, uh, and it's trading for, you know, what it's trading at right now, um, let's see what the market cap would be at that point in time. So 0 0.01838 
then we're going to have a market cap of roughly 147 billion. So when the circulating supply is at 8 billion tokens, um, the market cap and it's at and it's trading for the same price, the market cap is going to be roughly 147 uh, million dollars, you guys. So that's still very, very low from where, I, you know, my $1 billion price point would be. Um, so we're going to check some different numbers real quick and see how high we can get. Um, so guys, we'll, we'll go to, let's see, we got 8 billion again. And we're gonna go ahead and multiply it by, we'll try 10 cents, okay? So we multiply by 10 cents, and you're gonna come out with 800,000. So higher than that, we'll try 12 cents next. So 800, or sorry, 8 billion times 0.12, okay? And we've got 960,000, 960, okay? I don't think it's gonna go to 13, but it might. Um, let's see here, 8 billion. And we've got 1.4. Okay, so it's going to be roughly between 12 and 13 cents. But just to be on the safe side rather than the sorry side, guys, we're going to go ahead and choose 12 cents, okay? So by the time it reaches 12 cents, if the circulating supply is around 8 billion, it will be roughly a 12 cent coin, okay? Now, that is a very solid return on your investment. From where it's at right now, that's about an 11x coin. And we're, we'll go ahead and check and see what your return on your investment would be if you were to buy into it right now. So let's say you just, let's say you just treat all of these coins as lottery tickets and you put a thousand dollars into them okay so you put a thousand dollars into star atlas right now divided by 0 0.01838 you're going to come out with 54,400 tokens okay so you got 54,400 tokens and you hold on to it until it reaches that high of you know 12 cents so we'll go ahead and multiply that by 0.12, and you guys can see you would make roughly $6,500 after that, which is a good solid return on your investment for only investing $1,000, you guys. Um, that is very, that's very, very solid. I mean, you really can't go wrong there. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, so guys, definitely you have some very strong price potential with Star Atlas here, you guys. And you know what? Honestly, there's potentially it could go higher than a $1 billion market cap. I mean, that's just my personal view. I personally think it can get to at least a minimum of $1 million or $1 billion at some point. Um, it can't, or sorry, yeah, $1 billion. Um, it can go higher and there's potential it could go higher in the long term. But, you know, realistically, um, you know, I like to be on the safe rather than the sorry side. So I choose, you know, a smaller number. Uh, but seriously, guys, for only investing $1,000 and coming out with 6500 at the very end, um, that's a very solid return on your investment. So, all right, guys, now we'll move on to the next one, okay? Um, let's move on to Alien Worlds. And obviously, you guys, uh, it, just to move back here real quick, obviously, the more you put into it, the more you're going to make. Let's see if, I mean, if you were to put 10000 into that instead, you know, we'll go ahead and divide that by, you know, 0 0.01838. You know, you're going to come out with 544,000 tokens, okay? 544, 544,000 tokens. We'll go ahead and multiply that by 12 cents. You know, your $10,000 would turn it would turn into $65,000. So realistically here, you guys, obviously the more you invest, the more you're going to make in the end. Um, so there you have it. So guys, we're going to move on to Alien Worlds now, okay? Same concept applies here. So instead of a circulating supply of 900 or of 9 percent, we're going to double that and we're going to go to roughly 1 oh, thousand million. We'll go to 1.8 1.8 billion, 1000 million billion. Yeah, we'll go to 1.8 billion tokens for circulating supply. So we got 1.8 billion tokens, okay? So 1.8, is that 1.8 billion, 1,000 million billion? Yeah, 1.8 billion tokens. And let's see here, we're going to go ahead and divide that by what you would buy or what the price is right now. So we got 0 0.08888, more eights. And we're gonna come out with, um, uh, let's see here, 20,200, oh wow, that's, oh wow, that's a huge number. Holy smokes. Okay, um, no, I did that wrong. Okay, so one, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused here. <laughs> okay, so our circulating supply is going to be one, one point, yeah, one point eight billion. Okay, one point eight billion tokens. Okay, in five years, roughly, you know, uh, one point eight billion tokens. And if the price, you know, at the current price, if uh, you know, at the current price, point zero eight eight eight, we would come out with a market cap of roughly one hundred and fifty nine point nine million dollars. You guys, which is you know, a little higher than where it's at right now. It's like double where it's at right now. Um, so realistically here, you guys, we're a little low on that and we can go a lot higher than that to reach that one, you know, billion dollar market cap level, you guys. So we will go ahead and take that 1.8 billion again and we will go ahead and we will 
Um, we'll go ahead and we will try and see, you know, where it would be if it was at, uh, we'll say 15 cents maybe. Um, so we'll go ahead and divide this by 0 0.15. 0 0.15, and let's see here, we've got, uh, no, I'm confused again here. Eight, 1.8 billion tokens. 1.8 million tokens, and we need to multiply this, not divide it, uh, multiplied by 0.15. Okay, so when it's at 15 cents, um, let's see here, we're gonna come up with a market cap of 270 million. Still way, way too low. Okay, we will go ahead and try 30 cents next, I guess. I don't know, because at 30 cents, it's gonna be about 540,000, so we'll try 60 cents maybe. Yeah, we'll try 60 cents. Yeah, 1.8 billion. 1.8 billion multiplied by 60 cents and guys we come out with 1.08 billion okay so we'll go ahead and try 55 cents 55 cents times uh 1.8 billion and guys we come out with 990 million dollars so that's about roughly where i feel comfortable with this okay guys so let's do the math here okay so at roughly when the market cap is roughly 1.8 billion token, or when the circulating supply is at 1.8 billion tokens, and it reaches a price point of 55 cents in the long term, um, and the market cap is roughly almost $1 billion, you guys, um, your return on your investment would be, let's see what happens here. So if you've got $1,000 and you divide that by 0 0.08888, and you've got 11,250 tokens, 11,250. And guys, we're gonna go ahead and multiply this by 55 cents, uh, which is what the price we came out to before. And guys, we would have roughly, again, roughly a $6,000, you know, return on your investment, which is, you know, about the same thing here, you guys. And again, guys, you know, a project like this, you know, the, they, these all have the same potential to go up to a, you know, $1 billion market cap in the long term future. Um, so I'm just, you know, generally showing you what, you know, the potential price potential would be for these because they can happen and they really definitely could happen. Um, I would not put your entire net worth in these projects, um, but you know, they are definitely good long term holds for the long term here. Um, so next we'll, we will uh, we'll go ahead and we will go ahead and try our Fox. Okay. So our Fox, again, we are at the same, we're at the same thing here, you guys, except uh, market or the circulating supply is already in the billions. Um, so again, guys, in the long term here, um, obviously probably the whole circulating supply will already be out there at 2 billion. So uh, we'll just go ahead and use the 2 billion mark. So two at 2 billion coins circulating, 2 billion coins, multiply that by 0 0.036. And guys, we've got a market cap of $72 million, $72 million by that time. So this one might be a little higher, you guys. We might get a little bit higher return on your investment on this one. Um, so realistically, that's still really low. We can technically do a 10x on this pretty much. So 3 cents times 10, that would be roughly 30 cents. So we will go ahead and try 2 billion times 30 cents. Um, let's see here, 2 billion, and we will try times 0.30, times 30 cents. That's only $600 million, you guys, so it can go a lot higher than that. We'll try 50 cents. Um, so we'll try 50 cents times 2 million tokens, or sorry, 2 billion tokens. And you guys, we've got roughly, there we go. That's our level right there. Uh, one, mil, $1 billion market cap level. So 50 cents, it could potentially go, you guys. So. That's a very, very solid return on investment from three cents to 50 cents. Okay, well, let's try this, okay? If you were to buy in right now for $1,000, just a small investment, uh, divided by 0 0.036, you're gonna come out with 27,777 tokens, 777, and we'll go ahead and multiply this by 50 cents, you guys. So realistically here, you would pretty much do quite a, you, you would pretty much make quite a, you, you would more than 10X your money here. Um, so you would go from $1,000 to almost $14,000 here, you guys, which again is a very solid return on your investment. And again, this is uh, very, very minimal here. It could go a lot higher than this, you guys. Um, so just to keep that into perspective here. So guys, we've got Star Atlas, Alien Worlds, and R Fox. okay? Three awesome uh, metaverse projects with very good long-term potential for the long-term that could honestly go a lot higher than, you know, the, than the predictions that I'm predicting here. Uh, so next guys, we've got UFO gaming. Okay. This one is, this one's a little, a little different. Um, cause the circulating supply is already out there. It's not going to grow. Um, and it's pretty much what you see here, 20,000 million billion trillion, 25.75 trillion tokens. 
Um, that is a lot of tokens, you guys. But if it reaches a billion dollar market cap, um, it could give you some pretty solid yields. So let's see what we've got here. So 25.757, um, 575, 7, That is such a weird number, you guys. Um, so we got that for a circulating supply and we will go ahead and um, actually we don't need that yet so obviously you guys we can see here circulating supply is all already there um, the price is very 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 small uh, we want to see let, let's see what would happen if it goes to let's see where's like where Shiba Inu prices are right now which is like four zeros and then to 2500 or something like that one two three four and then 2500 okay so like shiba inu prices right now let's see where it's at all right so if it was uh the circulating supply we've got 25.7 we're just gonna say 0 0.75 20 25.75 billion or trillion sorry 25.75 trillion let's see thousand million billion trillion okay and we'll go ahead and multiply that by 0.1234 and then 2,500. And we would get a market cap of roughly $643.7 million. So clearly it can go a little higher than that. Next we'll try four zeros and then three, okay? So we've got 2575 uh, followed by a whole crap ton of zeros. Um, let's see here, 1,000 million, billion, trillion. Okay, and we'll go ahead and multiply this by 0.1234 and then three and we get 772 million okay so a little higher than that okay we'll try four next all right so we've got 25 7 5 trillion and we'll go ahead and multiply by point one two three four four and we've get roughly about this so uh, clearly guys we're going to be right around the three seven range here um we'll go ahead and try that real quick so point one two three four three five and that's about as close as i think we're gonna get that's pretty comfortable here you guys um and again it could go a lot higher than that so um realistically here uh we'll just call it point zero 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 three five uh, which is a little bit higher than where shib currently is right now um so let's see what would happen if you were to put a thousand dollars into this one you guys so you put a thousand dollars into it right now and let's see you would get point one, two, three, four, five, five, nine, seven, nine. You would get 167.2 million tokens. Holy cow. 167.2 million tokens. That is a lot of tokens, you guys. And guys, we'll go ahead and multiply this by point one, two, three, four, three, five. And guys, we would come out with roughly $5,800 in the end. So you would make roughly, you know, you'd go from $1,000 to $5,800. So again, guys, this is another good, solid return on your investment for the long term. But obviously, guys, nillies are very small numbers. You know, you want to go ahead and make it worth it. If you're planning to hold these coins for the absolute long term, you want to make it worth it, okay? Um, you know, whether it's, you know, you put $1,000 into it or $10,000, um, you know, if you can afford to put $10,000 into it, that would be awesome because you're obviously going to make the greatest return on your investment long term. Okay, but realistically here though, not, you know, we can't expect that every single one of these projects is going to be 100% perfect in the future, you guys. So we can't expect that they're all going to do phenomenal, okay? Um, so guys, this would be UFO Gaming. Um, so let's go ahead and check Starlink next, okay guys? So Starlink, we've got another small price, uh, but this one has a much smaller circulating supply, okay? So we've got a, let's see here, let's uh, let's go with nine point, uh, we're just gonna use the whole circulating supply, so 10 billion tokens, thousand million, billion, trillion. Okay, they got that number wrong. Um, I don't know why CoinMarketCap does this. Um, clearly, the circulating supply, it says B for billion. It's clearly not billion. I don't know why CoinMarketCap does this, but I noticed this with Shiba Inu a long time ago, and I don't know why they haven't fixed it yet, because it's clearly not billion, you guys. It's clearly trillion. Uh, we can see that right here in the max supply. Thousand, million, billion, trillion. Okay, clearly it's trillion, so I don't know why they have a B. Um, but we'll go ahead and use uh, use this number. So we've got 10 trillion tokens, which is a lot of tokens. So 1,000 million, billion, trillion. Okay, 10, 10, 000, 10 trillion tokens, all right? 
we will go ahead and we will multiply this by um well, let's go ahead and see what would happen here so if we go ahead and multiply this by we'll try again we'll try one two three four we'll try shiba inu prices again so we got 10 trillion tokens and we'll try shiba inu prices so point one two three four twenty five hundred and guys we get 250 million market cap okay so clearly higher than that um clearly we're going to have roughly about it's going to be about four zeros and then a five i think so we'll try 10 trillion again and whoops and thousand million billion trillion and let's see here times point one two three four five one two three whatever and oh wow it's gonna be higher than that okay so clearly it's gonna be three zeros and then a one okay probably that's what it is 10 trillion 10 trillion okay divided by or multiplied by ta point zero 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 one there we go now we've got one billion you guys okay so so three zeros and then a one is where it could potentially go if it reach you know when it reaches a one billion or one billion dollar market cap so three zeros and then a one so keep that in mind remember that so if we were to buy in right now with a thousand dollars divided by point one two three four five eight five two two we'd come out with 117.3 million tokens 117.3 million tokens 117.3 million okay and we'll go ahead and multiply this by point one two three one and guys you would come out in the end with roughly eleven thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars so realistically you guys so far this is definitely the second best put uh, uh second best uh price pretend or return on your investment as far as you know future price potential you guys so if you're looking for good solid price potential in the long term so far between all of these you guys if they meet a one billion dollar market cap someday in the future because that's what matters here you guys is the market cap levels so if they reach a one billion dollar market cap here Clearly, guys, so far we've got Rfox and Starlink that have the overall best potential returns on investments. Um, so now we got one more left, you guys. We've got Sinverse, okay? So Sinverse is an awesome project. I personally love it. If you're a big fan of Grand Theft Auto or GTA, you are going to love the Sinverse project, okay? Uh, so let's check this out here. Uh, max supply. I don't know what their max supply is. It's clearly not listed here. Their total supply, though, says one, two, three thousand million billion. Says one billion tokens. They currently have 142 million in circulation. Um, for the sake of this video, we'll go with 300. We'll go with 300 million. So we've got 300 million tokens. And let's see here, 300 million tokens, you guys. And let's see here, if it was at 300 million tokens and it goes to, you know, where it's at right now, so 0 0.043, uh, it's gonna be have roughly a market cap of $12.9 million, you guys. So this one, if it goes to a billion dollar market cap, it's going to have a very large, large price potential here, you guys. Um, so we've got 3 million again, or sorry, 300 million. No, wait, yeah, 300 million. God, these big numbers they really confuse me and we'll go with uh we'll go with we'll go with 30 cents and see what happens so 30 cents so times 30 cents and we've got 90 90 million you guys so okay so 30 cents you know what just for fun here we're gonna try a dollar okay so we've got 300 one two three four five six 300 million tokens 300 million circulating supply multiply that by 1.00 and we've got a 300 million dollar market cap you guys a lot higher than that it's going to go this thing's going to go to like three dollars and 33 cents you guys so 300 million and multiply this by 3.33 and guys there's our market cap level right there one billion dollar market cap level from where it's at right now, four cents, all the way up to $3.33, that would be enormous, you guys. That would be a huge return on your investment, okay? So if you got $1,000 here, you're gonna divide that by 0 0.043 cents. You're gonna come out with 23,255 tokens. 23,255 tokens, I think that was the number, close enough, whatever. Multiplied by 3.33. Guys, you're going to come out with seventy-seven thousand four hundred dollars in the very end, we're off of a one thousand dollar investment, you guys. So, overall, here, you guys, for the long term, for long term, when when we're talking, we're talking about long term price per, price potential here, you guys. The three that stand out the most out of all six of these, the three that have the very most solid returns on your investment, would be Rfox, 
Starlink, and Synverse, okay? And you can get all of these. I believe you can buy all of these right now as well. Um, so if you're in the United States, if you're U US based, you can get RFOX on KuCoin and Gate.io. Um, both are very well-known centralized exchanges, just like Coinbase, um, and you can buy them both on there. And same with Starlink. I, well, I think Starlink is only available, yeah, Starlink is only available on Gate.io for you people in the United States. Um, so if you want it and you're in the United States, you can get it on Gate.io. Um, let's see here, for Synverse, I think Synverse might be a little different. Nope, Synverse you can get on Gate.io as well. So if you want Synverse Syn as well, you can get, get it on Gate.io. Um, so clearly guys, you can buy all of these on Gate.io and you will be set to go. Uh, me personally, you guys, um, I do personally do have um, positions in a few of these, not all six of them, but I do have positions in a few of them. Um, I'm sure everybody already knows I'm a big, big fan of Starlink. I love this project. I love the community behind this project. And I do have a long-term bag in Starlink and I have, I have for a little bit now. Um, and next I want to try, um, I haven't bought into Synverse yet, but I'm probably going to here pretty soon, um, you know, for a very solid long-term uh, long term investment opportunity. So overall here, you guys, um, you saw it on the math. You know, if all of these go to one, a $1 billion market cap, they all have some pretty solid, decent gains for the future, you guys. Um, and you know, hey, you really can't go wrong with uh, long term gains here, especially in the crypto world, you guys. But overall, you guys, that pretty much does it for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, before you guys leave, don't forget to follow me on Twitter here with the link in the video description down below. And also, guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in my future videos or chatting with me here on Twitter.